but the front entrance to your home should make a good first impression, and Virginie's new home does just that. Take a look. We're standing in the front hall of the house I've been renovating for 15 months, and I'm so happy that this is finally finished. Now, the thing about a front hall is it has to be really functional, especially when it's your only entrance, and then the decor comes afterwards. So I got to completely got everything out and start again. So when we first bought the house, there was a tiny little vestibule here, which just did not function at all. And then a big wasted space. So what I did is reclaim some, some of the space from that big wasted space and make a kind of a room that I really wanted people to be able to undress, take all their shoes off, take their coats off, put everything away, and then move into the rest of the house. So to do that, I had a custom bench built here and I took advantage of the width of the room here to have this little bench built and it's all built around these boxes that I actually ordered from a store. So they are pre-made and we had the bench built to size. And then I had it raised off of the floor a little bit so that my kids could put their shoes underneath. And I didn't have to put up with a huge mess of shoes that my kids and mostly my husband tend to leave around the house. Then that gave me a way to treat it as a kind of a decorative sofa element. So I could introduce pattern and color. And you can see that I really love pattern and color. So for me, it started with this kind of crazy, um, Pelican that I inherited from my mom and then around that I really built up the kind of kitschy kind of 70s Florida look that I think is kind of fun So I got the fair one ball bamboo wallpaper I got this bright green rug from LT and then just really had fun coordinating color around that Ooh, I can't believe we saved the rug there for last. That was beautiful. Hi, Virginie Martin joins us live. That's really great. I mean fun you see the before and so many yeah. of us are dealing with the before yeah. but the after is such a dramatic transformation it looks warm it looks cozy but most importantly it looks functional it's functional that's the main thing about a front hall so I had the luxury of having built-ins made and you know being able to start from scratch but let's face it not everybody has that luxury and so I've come up with some other products that could kind of help your front hall function in its yeah. best possible way okay um, so the main thing you want to think about is storage. People are essentially lazy, or at least my husband is, and will just throw <laughs> his stuff all over the place. So if you can make it easy for people, yeah. then they're more likely to put stuff away. So this is actually um, part of IKEA's Expedite um, shelving line, mm -hmm. and it's meant to go upright, but people are using it sideways as a bench. It functions very much like the one that I had built in my house. Good. You can put it on casters, move it around, and then you know, everybody can have their own cubby to put their stuff. So my husband's giant shoe, like one per box. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and Two then you pairs. can accessorize it with some pillows, and that's kind of like a fun way to create the look that I had in my front hall. You can also think outside the box. So okay. this is also from Ikea, and this is actually a TV bench. Oh. And it comes with drawers, and I think it's perfect. It's a little bit smaller, it's a little bit deeper. So this could also function very well as a front hall piece, yeah. instead of just a media kind of a piece. Yeah, whatever you get though, it, it's like you say, the storage is essential and the hiding of things. Because the not, hiding of stuff. There's nothing worse than coming in and seeing the coats yeah. and the, the boots. And you can't hide how people are, right? Like you, right. Can't, you can't change them. So you have to make it easy for them. Just so make it easy. For your kids, this oh, is from Joe Fresh, so cute. Hang it low so they can actually hang up their own stuff, right? You don't want to spend that's your time cute. running after the kids. Right. So that just goes there. This is just for fun, but really you could just put your scarf on there also, That's right? a very functional piece. What <laughs> do you mean fun? Camilla that's obviously House. a coat hanger right there. Exactly. You that could have a whole know. wall of horns <laughs> just hang all your stuff on there. Picture ledge, again from Ikea, is a great oh, idea nice. because if you want to just throw your keys somewhere, say you don't have room for like a bench or something, yeah. a narrow ledge is a good place to throw, you know, makeup, keys. This is actually, again from Ikea, a kitchen piece and um, I think in the front hall it could work really well because you could again stash your keys, put your mail, put your right. lipstick. So using that wall space is a good way to go. You're very good about that, about taking an item that is supposed to be meant for something and right. using it for something else. Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, that's why so we I'm like walking you. around the that's store great. at Home Depot and I'm like, I don't know what this is for, but I know what I'd use it for. I know what I'm using it for. <laughs> this is from a place called Camilla House. They're a wholesaler, but they have these amazing pieces like this. I don't actually know what it is, again. You could put baskets on here. It's great for mail. It's great for scarves. Like using the Magazines, wall hats, space. Magazines, anything, mittens. Anything you want. You want to encourage people to put their stuff away. Put the library books there that you have to, you know, give right, back. Right, your kids always homework. late. Everybody gets their own shelf. Okay, what's behind me here? Um, okay, oh, say so you've a got nice a tiny, rack. tiny space. So all you have is one little storage <laughs> cube. This is from Pottery Barn. Make it smart. Make it work as a seat so it's yes. nice and hard. And then you can put stuff inside. Right. Coat put rack. Put your shoes on. 
easy for people to hang their stuff. I love this one from Urban Mode because you can't put too many coats on it. Like you've seen okay. coat racks that have like layers and layers and yes. layers, and they end up looking like these giant like it's monsters terrible. full of stuff. Yeah, just four. That's all. That's it. <laughs> the rest goes into the guest bedroom. That's all you're allowed. And then big oversized kind of baskets. So HomeSense has tons of them, and I think they're great decoratively, and I think they're great just for stuffing like hats and scarves because yeah, winter will end, but right now we still need stuff like that. Now the thing that tied it all together in your foyer was that beautiful rug. Yes, I so mean that was gorgeous. a spectacular piece from LT that I kind of lucked into. Do you mind if your kids walk on that? <laughs> no, <laughs> you but don't you know, mind. the floor tiles that Karen was talking about are another really great solution oh, for yeah. the front hall, right? Because if things get muddy, then you can kind of take them up, scrub them, yeah, and scrub them back out. And I have done that before. This is a nice rug, and I know that this one is very reasonably priced. I'm pretty sure this is Ikea. This is right? Ikea. I've seen it at Ikea. You know, I think that's something that's got a lot of pattern in it, not yes. a solid. Um, something that's synthetic will wear really well in the front hall. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think obviously that the color is fantastic on this one. But don't blow the bank on the front hall. Just no. make it really functional. I love it. Good stuff. Let's go to break. More coming up. Stay with us. Good tips for me.